Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with Charlie. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on LA rapper Draco the Ruler, who was just stabbed and killed at a concert in his own city. December 18th, 2021, West Coast artists and superstars alike got ready to take the stage in what was an all day concert called Once Upon a Time in LA. From Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube in the game, to YG, Blueface, and Draco the Ruler, over 50 artists were set to perform, and being that this was LA, the gang members were in full attendance. It was around 8.40 at night when a fight backstage broke out between artists as those in attendance started recording. Clips of the fight would find its way to social media while the news of what took place started to spread. A 28-year-old man had been stabbed in the neck and transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. LAPD wouldn't release an identity, but those close to the situation let it be known. They had got Draco the ruler. Shortly after, a clip would be posted showing what appears to be Draco, lifeless on the ground, with blood covering his face as police attempted CPR, repeatedly pressing into his chest. It wasn't immediately known what went wrong, but the show was canceled, news was spreading, and Draco the Ruler's associate K7 would take to Instagram Live. I'm, I'm speaking facts, bro. YG a real life bitch, nigga. Niggas doing all this puff talking like they hard, bro. But nigga, we fight big ass security. You got those security guards fighting, nigga. Like, come on, bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. On my mama, bro. Them niggas got the big ass ball security guards snuck in, snuck in knives, all type of weird shit, nigga. Let them niggas come seventy thick, but only told us we only can bring fifteen people, bro. That don't make no sense, bro. You only told us we can bring fifteen people, but let them niggas bring a hundred motherfucking people, bro. Bro, I, I'm so hot, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. These niggas gonna slide, niggas on, bro. YG can't perform in LA no more, bro. I don't give a fuck who feel about what or anything, nigga. I don't care. It, it, it's weird because Draco actually tried to fuck with the Bloods at first when he first got out of jail. My nigga, this shit weird. Niggas is hating, bro. YG a real bitch, cuz. Because he knew Draco was going to take his spot. Cuz really a bitch. Nigga set the whole shit up, bro. This shit was a setup from the start, bro. Bro, I'm going to tell, I'm going to be honest, fool. On 30 Crib, when we first came in, you know, we we was there, certain niggas was there early, early. So it was cool. Like, it wasn't no tension. Like, but YG and them wasn't there because they performed later, fool. So, you know what I'm saying? The nigga came in. As soon as he came in, it went bad, basically. Like, like niggas know what they was doing, bro. It was a whole setup, nigga. We got, the, nigga, bro, it was a setup, bro. My mama, the whole shit was a setup, nigga. It's going, I called you. Hey, record it, record it, you record it? Yeah. Yeah, you know K7? You know K7? I can't even get nothing over here. Back in December of 2016, a 24-year-old Inglewood family blood named Davion Red Bull Gregory was walking with two men in Carson, California. They were heading to a warehouse party, walking up the driveway when gunfire erupted and all three of them were shot, including two others who were nearby. 160 people were believed to have attended that party and not one witnessed the shooting. Red Bull was shot five times, dying in the hospital. Shell casings were found at the scene. Darkly lit surveillance showed two groups of men walking by one another, but they weren't able to be identified and the actual shooting wasn't recorded. Draco the Ruler's name would be heard over a police wiretap in an unrelated gang investigation, and the victim's family would also confirm they heard rumors of his involvement. The two other men that were shot and weren't with Red Bull's group spoke with detectives in the hospital mentioning a black Mercedes, a red coupe, and a light-skinned guy with braids. 40 caliber shell casings and ballistic evidence from a 38 caliber revolver were recovered at the scene. These findings were then compared to a music video titled Chunky Monkey, in which Draco can be seen in a black Mercedes, a man can be seen possessing a Glock, and Draco's brother Ralphie with a revolver. Police painted a picture that Draco wanted another rapper killed, supplied guns to members in his group, and while sitting in his new black Mercedes, his friend in the passenger seat and a 17-year-old outside of the car opened fire on Red Bull. 
Draco's alleged involvement in the murder of an Inglewood family blood would forever solidify him being a target, and him beating the entire case just made it even worse. Released in November of 2020, it would be the following year in 2021 when Draco would drop a song titled Inglewood, dissing the entire city of Inglewood. While Draco himself holds no gang affiliation, he grew up in Westmont, affiliating himself with the Crips who largely made up his entourage. According to K7's Instagram Live, everything was smooth at the show until YG arrived. Draco had been told he could only bring 15 people, while YG was alleged to have a crowd with him, including his own security. YG, who's famously known for being treetop Pyru, is also said to have close ties to the Inglewood family bloods, who are alleged to have been in attendance, and K7, who's a rolling 30s crip, is accusing YG of using his security to sneak knives into the event. Why he would say all that on Instagram? I can only assume he let his emotions get to him, even going as far as banning YG from performing in Los Angeles. December 19, 2021, news would confirm the death of 28-year-old Daryl Caldwell, aka Draco the Ruler. His death coming less than two weeks after Compton rapper Slim 400 was shot to death. Los Angeles at this time is a reflection of its past resembling the 80s and 90s as another Crip vs. Blood War claims lives. And at this time, no suspects have been arrested or identified. Now I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm surprised and I'm not. I'm surprised by how soon this came after Slim 400 being killed, which was a major loss to LA. And I'm not surprised because of the fact that Draco the Ruler was dissing people. He was involved in certain shit this is what comes with it. I mean, honestly, the way it was done, it sounds like a prison hit. Having someone go somewhere, you know they're not gonna have nothing on them. You're able to sneak some knives in, somebody gets up on them, and it's over with. Once you hit that right spot, it's, you know what I mean? It's more so a matter of time. It's not a matter of if you're gonna survive. It's just how fast you're gonna bleed out. But it literally sounded like a prison hit sneaking in knives this and that we don't even know if that's how it actually happened those are just the accusations being made by somebody on draco's side but i can guarantee that more people are about to get hit because of what just took place you got one side saying fuck him all that dissing he was doing it's basically what he deserves you got the other side saying it's up there it's a green light with anybody and you know they're even going as far as saying people are banned from performing in la this isn't gonna be over anytime soon. I send my condolences to the family and I send my condolences to the No Jumper crew. I know that they were close with him. They interviewed him multiple times, but hey, it's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with Charlie, y'all rocking with me. Till next time.